Hey folks, welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update, brought to you by ARK.io, the simplest way to blockchain, folks. Brent, I tell you what, we got blue and pink, and blue and pink, does that make green? Well, it makes green, and you know what, everybody's in the pink today, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, let's go take a quick look at the market. Up, Bitcoin's up 738, that's at 63,000, I'll do that again, 63,652, that's up 1.18%. Overall market, 2.2 trillion these days, folks. It's up 2%. So the altcoins are actually outpacing Bitcoin a little bit. Dow's had a nice kaboom right here on a Friday. And, you know, that thing just keeps chugging higher. It's and, Thursday. Uh, oh, excuse me. That's Thursday. That's right. Keeps chugging higher. I keep thinking tomorrow i got to leave. It's Friday. <laughs> and, you know, we, we don't have our, bride, our Biden print machine. We bought one. We're waiting on the real dollar bills because we don't fake things around here. So, uh, anyway... Uh, the uh, Dow is up nice, up 0.9%, which is 300 points. Puts it at 34,000. S&P is up 45. That's 1.11%. Uh, NASDAQ's up 222.29. That's 1.61. So everything there in the traditional markets up a, up a percent today. Look at that gold. Boom! Up 26. I told you that it looked like it was bouncing down around there. I kind of, you know, I'm not going to be like uh, like Bo and declare the bottom because I'm not that good, but it's kind of looking like it's trying to form one right there. And then silver is up 49 cents. Notice silver is up 1.95%. Gold's up 1.6%. But when you look at the chart, silver's moved sideways. It's never really gone down. So uh, uh, it's kind of increasing that differential between gold and silver. And look at the crude is up 62 cents at 63.36. So apparently wind and solar has not killed West Texas Intermediate Crude yet. And then if we go and look at our Bitcoin futures, the December 21s are up 1525 and the December 22s are up 1525. Uh, and the overall market is only up 556. So uh, we added $1,000 pretty much on each one of those in what you call uh, time value. Uh, and there's about 3000 between the two of them. Uh, so they're looking uh, looking nice. People are starting to feel a little more assured that Bitcoin is going to keep going up. And you want to watch the uh, over the fence post this week because we're going to talk about some of that. Uh, let's look at the coins. Ethereum's up 65, up a buck 21 on Polkadot, down two cents on XRP. But XRP a buck 80. Um. It was 26 cents just a while ago. SEC, you didn't kill them. Uh, they tried, but they didn't. Uh, Cardano is up seven tenths of a, of a penny. Uh, Litecoin up 924. That's at 287. Look at that chart. Whoo! Uh, John Kim is dancing in the streets. He has gone from being the crazy Asian to the dancing Asian because he's dancing everywhere because he's making some money. Uh, Link is up a buck 59. And Theta up 27, 27, 28 cents. That's 2.27% on the increase. There you go. And the markets are knocking them out. Hopefully they'll close strong tomorrow. Yep. In other news, listen to this, and this is a trend, folks. Bitcoin holders, hodlers, are accumulating BTC again after a six-month kind of a sell-off. And there were, you know, we've seen the price go and it's run on up. But people are sitting on it now, and that's kind of good news for it. They anticipate it going up, and Brent's Futures just showed that. So I, I saw that as, uh, you know, some good news. Uh, NASDAQ reported Tuesday's, uh, you know, Coinbase's reference price and all that. It's still holding around that 350 It came out at about 250 So it's supporting the price there. It had gotten up there and even in some of the other exchanges to as much as 420 But, you know, it's going to be on the minds of a lot of folks moving forward, and that's good news for the entire marketplace. Because when once you get the bug, when you get the crypto bug, uh, there's there's no off. We'll get rid of it, folks. You're going to be yeah. stuck with it. When you're bit by the toe, it's tough. Man. That's it. That's it. And and folks, we've been telling you. Matter of fact, it may have been yesterday, or the day before, on our daily update, we were saying that that uh, they're saying you know rumor has it that thieves and nefarious characters and all that are no longer looking. They're moving away from cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin for all their uh, you know why? doings. You know why? Right? They've been watching the Wild West Crypto Show. We've been telling them for four years, pick something else, you moron. <laughs> so You're going to get caught. Unlike Biden-Harris, where they're causing criminal activity like we see in the Northwest and yes. Minnesota. We've been thwarting it. We are. We're thwarting it. So listen to this. <laughs> $623 million stolen in Bitcoin in 2016 has been moved. So they sit here and watch these wallets. You can't get away with it. It's just a matter of... Now, now, Brent, I don't think they're sitting out there like in the old days of detective work and they're sitting out in the car outside of the house waiting to see it move. 
No, they got a thing on the computer. Goes, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. It's moved. Listen to this. According to blockchain analysis service, whale alert, 10,000 Bitcoin worth $623 million that was stolen from Bitfinex in 2016 was transferred in a series of transactions yesterday. And folks, they think they can cut it up and do some other things with it and then it disappears. No, nope, they'll watch it down to the Satoshi. And if you don't know what a Satoshi is, you need to watch all of our shows. Go back to show number one, binge watch Wild West Crypto Show. You will know what a Satoshi is, you know. But, but, you know, Brent, that's the thing that we talk about. And the good news in that is we've seen now over the years where they have gone actually found and returned some of this money. The only time the federal government has ever sold a holding for more than it was really worth in the open market was Bitcoin. That's it. They That's sold it. a block of Bitcoin. They got 21% more than what it was trading on on the exchange because they could sell a block of it on an off-chain deal. Only Bitcoin can make the federal government look smart. That's it, folks. If you remember years ago, they couldn't even run a house of ill repute and a bar at a profit. So, I mean, that really- <laughs> $300 toilet seats on your <laughs> on your big ships. There you go. And folks, uh, yesterday you saw some uh, blue bonnet pictures by Bobby. He's a photographer and he's going to be running around the hill country. And next we'll, week, we will bring you more pictures by Bobby. Yeah, and better looking than us. <laughs> Put it up there, Bobby. Put there you your go, man. Up. Go ahead. Put your picture up. Flash throw, it up throw it for up. him. Let everybody see it. We'll close that. Texas oh, Blue Bonnets. There you go. You don't get any prettier than Texas, folks. That's it. Folks, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again tomorrow on our daily update.